Stephen, welcome back. How does it feel to be back in? That's nice. Um, over the last kind of couple of weeks, you're thinking about the first day, and um, it's, it's nice to get that one out of the way. Um, and almost by Monday, you're into back into the swing of things. Speaking to Tony Fitzpatrick yesterday when he was down at the training ground and he was talking about being quite surprised at how much ball work you'd done in the first day, were you surprised that you were that active? I think football's changed in the way that um, that's a norm now, almost. Um, in my first spell here with Gus McPherson, me and the manager spoke about it yesterday, you didn't touch the ball for the f full first week. You're up the Queen's Park Hills and uh, really old school stuff, but I think f football's changed now that... Um, Although there'll be a lot of running involved, most of it's uh, done with the ball. Is that better, do you think, as a footballer to straight away be back on the ball? Well, it's more, more enjoyable because um, sometimes you don't realise how much running you're actually doing when you're, when you're uh, doing ball work, plus you're still getting your touch back as well. So um, really enjoyed the first day and I'm sure it's going to get tougher though, over the next few weeks. How much are you looking forward to this season getting underway? Uh, really looking forward to it. As I said, I think back end of last season, I didn't want last season to finish. Although I wanted uh, safety confirmed, we were playing so well and playing with so much confidence that um, the summer almost getting away, so it uh, got in the way for us. So uh, we've kept the bulk of the team and we want, want to carry that form into the season. Obviously, like you say, you want to carry that forward, eh, that form into the season, that momentum as well. Does that kind of start straight away with the League Cup? You know, it's it's a tough draw, but it's you know good set of games. Well, y yesterday the manager stressed us. He wants to take it really seriously. He wants to get out of the group, so um, that'll be our first objective of the season to get out of the group and, and try and do it in the manner we did at the back end of last season, scoring goals and entertaining the fans. Something last season, well, disappointing. They were down at the bottom of the league for most of the season. We got to the quarterfinals in the Scottish Cup, got to the final of the Ironbrook Cup. Is a sort of cup run something that the team's looking to do again next season? Massive. I mean, um, I look back to kind of where our um, safety, the run started last season. and The two cup games that we had, the East Fife and the TNS games, they were massive in terms of having the fixtures and not going into Dumbarton away and then air away. Um, it gave us time to play as a team and we got used to winning and we, we carried it on from there. So um, any run from any of the Cups would be very welcome. For yourself, you came in in January, you hadn't really played a lot of games at Wickham, but you're coming in now with a full pre-season under your belt. How keen are you to get going in the games and knowing that you'll be fully fit? Yeah, well, I know that I'll be, um, I'll be as you say, I'll be fitter than when I came in at the start of um, January, so looking forward to that. Um, looking forward to, as I said, because as a team we were enjoying our football so much, you're just wanting that first game to come. Um, and you know, I mean, there's not many teams in the country you don't actually fancy yourself when, you've, when you're playing with that much conf uh, confidence. So we just want the games to come and uh, get back into the routine of um, training and winning games. Does it make it easier for you having that pre-season under your belt? Definitely. I think it's always easier to start the team, uh, start the season with a team. I think for everyone concerned, manager, it's, it's, it's hard sometimes in January. I mean, coming in in January, you're coming into a team low in confidence. It might not have went as well as it did, um, adding so many players, so there's, there's an element of risk involved to that. Whereas doing a full pre-season, getting to know your teammates, getting to know how they play, getting to know building relationships with the guy that's going to be playing next to you and on your, uh, in front, behind you, etc. So um, that's important and something you're able to work on for four weeks before any game starts. Obviously the manager strengthened the team as well. How important do you think it was that he's brought in the, the types of players that he's brought in? For me personally, the, the biggest signs have been keeping guys like Gary McKenzie, Cammy Smith, Adam Eckensley, the manager and Fow, them staying. For me, if you told me that we'd still have the bulk of that team that played Easter Road with adding a few new faces, um, at this stage I'm absolutely delighted with that. How confident are you heading into the season, you know, getting that first league game underway and, and the campaign ahead? Very, I, I know. Um, Sometimes people want to play it down, um, play down expectations and stuff like that. But I mean, if we can play anything like we were playing at the back end of this season, then I don't fear anyone in the league. Um, it's going to be, obviously over a campaign. You're going to have to be lucky if not to get too many injuries, suspensions, and stuff like that. But if if you get that bit of luck, um, the way we've been playing, the players we've got in that dressing room, I don't fear anyone in the league.
you think the league's going to be a wee bit different this season? Because last year you had Hibs, who were probably the heavy favourites the season before Rangers were there, the season before Hearts, but you've still got the likes of Dundee United and Furness coming down, but do you think there's no sort of real heavy favourite? I think it'll be like the same league it's been for probably for the last 20 years in terms of so hard, so competitive, probably anyone could win it. Obviously the last few years have been different with Rangers, uh, Rangers Hearts and Hibs, where one of them are expected to win it. Um, this year maybe Dundee United will be the bookies' favourites, but they'll know, as we know, that um, it's about five teams that you could probably make a case for being the favourites. So um, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be maybe up and downs, as Championship always provides, but uh, we're relishing it.